Hi, my name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in St. Pete, Florida. I'd like to speak a little bit about why we medicate children with ADHD. I hear a lot of opposition to that in my practice. A lot of parents will say, well, I don't want them on medication no matter what we do. Um, and I tend to agree with that sometimes. But with some of the severe symptoms of attention deficit disorder and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, we really need to somehow get the child's um, behavioral, what I like to look at as behavioral index, down to baseline. We want to make sure that, that we have a kind of a baseline to shoot for in that if, the, if he can't sit still or she can't sit still and they literally can't focus on school, we're going to have to find some way to help them out. And medication helps, and I like to explain it to parents, is if somebody has diabetes, um, they're going to need insulin. You know, if somebody has ADD, most of the time medications and psychostimulant medications can help dramatically with managing the symptoms of the attention deficit. Now, we want to find what medication works best for each kid and maybe in different situations, and it may be different times of their life or different ages. So we want to make sure that we're working with um, not only a mental health professional in assessing some of the behavioral issues, but the pediatrician or the child psychiatrist and make sure that the medication is specifically tailored and the most efficient for that child for that particular type of problem that they're experiencing. Um, so that are, that's some of the reasons why we medicate children with ADHD. My name is John Bosworth, and I'm in private practice in St. Petersburg, Florida.